A federal judge in an 86-page decision ruled today that a lawsuit by several plaintiffs raises serious questions about quotas, racial profiling, and constitutional rights. Between 2002 and 2006, the number of stop and frisks in the city of New York went up by 500 percent. Automatically, the first thing people are always going to say is when they stop and frisk, what did I do? And it's typically nothing. This gang, this gang is, known as, is known as the New York Pigs Department. The New York Pigs Department. Police department, eyes open, palms up. They understand what's going on. They've seen the data. They know from our analyses and from lots of other analyses that it's not really all about crime. There's something more than crime. We suspect that it's race. So there may be some friction there because we have young cops, inexperienced cops, and maybe they are stopping some of the wrong people, innocent people. Um, I would be interested to see the guys that claim that they're innocent if they actually are. And I feel as though it's come to a point where we're being patrolled as opposed to being protected. Like they want us to stay confined in our homes. No, I never imagined that I would be in a situation where one of my children was being harassed um, on several occasions from the police. I'm supposed to, we're supposed to live with this fear every single day. Every single day we go outside. Every single day. It's crazy. The fact of going through all that, being thrown up against the wall, like in, in front of your building, or being thrown up against the wall anywhere in front of people, that's when I lost respect for them. That's, that's when I lost respect for them. I was a freshman in high school. I'm not gonna keep searching people for no reason. I'm not gonna keep writing people for no reason. I'm tired of this.